First things first, I just wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate your support and I'm gonna try really hard to bring you guys some quality travel content. So before we dive into Dubai, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of the room that I'm staying in and then we'll head out to explore. Okay, so I'm staying here at the Taj Dubai. It is located in downtown Dubai and it's over by the Dubai Mall, the Burj Khalifa, the fountains, stuff like that. So I'll just show you guys real quick what it looks like. Um, got a nice little tub there with the window that overlooks the city. So um, you can open that up and get some nice views while you're in the shower or bath. Um, little bathroom, of course, bidet phone in case you fall in and we'll keep going. Nice little workstation, the beds, and then of course the view. So let's check that out. So that is Burj Khalifa. If you don't already know, tallest building in the world. And then down there where you see all the waters. So. They have a really awesome fountain show. The designers of the Bellagio fountains in Las Vegas actually designed this one too in front of Burj Khalifa. So this one is actually on a whole different level than the ones um, at the Bellagio in Vegas. So I will definitely be showing you guys that later. So I am about to get ready to go have afternoon tea up at the top of the Burj Khalifa um, and get some great shots for you guys and just show you what that experience looks like also. Let's do it. Standing over 828 meters, it's the tallest structure and building in the world. But we're not just here to admire it from the ground. We're going to the top, to the one and only atmosphere. And apologies for this part of the video being in portrait mode. This is the only section where it's like that. For those who don't know, Atmosphere is the world's highest restaurant from ground level, nestled on the 122nd floor. It's not just about the height though, it's about the breathtaking views, the food, and the unmatched luxury. The Burj Khalifa completed in 2010, it took five years to build, and a symbol of Dubai's rapid growth. Atmosphere was designed with the idea of dining in the clouds, and it certainly lives up to its name. Now I'm heading toward an experience that's uniquely Dubai and has been creating quite a buzz. Welcome to Aya Universe located in the Wafi City Mall. This is pretty cool. So we just bought our tickets online and then um, they went up and we uh, went to the front desk. They scanned a QR code and gave us these cool little uh, passports. So um, here's a map of all the different areas. You enter right here, you go to the source, and then there's 12 different areas, and then you just kind of go to each one. And then you can keep track of all the ones that you've been to by putting stickers on the individual pages. That way you don't miss anything. Let's go check it out. Aya is where the past, present, and future come together where Emirati tradition meets the modern world. It features 12 zones spread across 40,000 square feet. This immersive experience promises to take you on a ride through the rich tapestry of Emirati culture, as well as offering a peek into the future of luxury and innovation. I wanted to show you guys this mosque that's over here by my hotel, but so from what I learned today, and correct me if I'm wrong guys in the comments down below, but Muslims, they pray about five times a day and then on Fridays it's extra special. So today is a Friday and um, when I came out of my hotel today, this place was absolutely packed. The streets were blocked and um, there were just people. So, so once this mosque fills up, people will just gather around outside and do their prayers just right outside the mosque, which was pretty cool to see. I had lunch with my friend earlier and um, what he was saying is that this is one of the safest cities that he's ever been to. He's, he's lived here in Dubai for about five years now and he was just saying that there's really no crime you can leave you know your personal items out nobody will take them and uh, there's not really any 
homeless people, at least in this area. And it's just a super clean, safe place to live. When they're out and about, they don't mind if he just goes far off in front of them on his little bike. You know, nobody's gonna do anything. So that's that was his favorite thing about living here. And the least favorite thing was the heat. It's about 8 p.m. and it's like 100 degrees sweating right now it's super hot because it is dry heat it's pretty tolerable but but yeah overall um he loves it this is a great place had a really good day and uh gonna go and check out the nightlife a little bit go along the beach and we'll go see what's going on down there Now I'm bringing you one of Dubai's most loved locations, the vibrant Jumeirah Beach residence, also known as JBR Beach. Situated in Dubai's bustling marina district, JBR Beach is a beautiful blend of urban sophistication and beachside fun. This place is buzzing with energy and activities, filled with culinary delights along the walk. There's something for everyone. And if you're into water sports, JBR Beach won't disappoint. From paddleboarding to jet skiing, there's plenty to keep your adrenaline pumping. So I got my hotel downtown uh, near Burj Khalifa and Dubai Mall, but I definitely wouldn't recommend that. There's really nothing else there besides that. When I come back to Dubai, I definitely want to stay in JBR. I would highly suggest staying here just because there's just way more to do. You're right next to the beach, and then when you want to go see Burj Khalifa, I mean, you could just go do that and the Dubai Mall like in a couple hours and then come back here and have all of these other things to do that, I, that would be really convenient. So that would definitely be my suggestion. Okay, so day two in Dubai. Yesterday was um, very tiring and exhausting, getting in at 6.15 a.m. and staying up until midnight. Went out last night to JBR Beach, as you guys saw, but today we're doing a couple tours, um, a water tour, and then also the safari tour, which I'll let you guys check out. All right, so just had a good breakfast. Took an Uber down here to the marina. Um, it was about, I don't know, like $18 or so from downtown Dubai. And we're gonna go look for this uh, Yellow Boats tour and go get signed up. So let's just take a, a stroll along the marina and see how it is. Another beautiful day. Got all the Yellow Boats, about to get on one of those. Guys, it is freaking hot today. Easily over a hundred blazing. Definitely make sure to bring sunscreen and some sunglasses. <laughs> So here in the marina, you can take the zip line that starts from this building right here. Hopefully you can see the wire. And then it's about $200 to take it, but then it goes like way over there. And you go about 50 miles an hour. So this building that you see right here is called the address. It's 100% complete and up toward the top, the condos cost about 3 million USD and billionaires just come up here and just buy up the entire floors, just, uh, you know, buy several of the condos and at the very top is a pool. You can actually go, kind of like Marina Bay Sands, an infinity pool, but you can go to the top. It costs $500 to do that, uh, but you can't use the pool. So all of those tan buildings, it all took about five years to build, and it looks like Emar built them again, one of the royal families and, and uh, the top construction, commercial construction company in the world. Since then, they've been building buildings all over the world. The Atlantis Hotel is a five-star hotel that opened in 2008 and sits on an artificial beach. It has 1,544 rooms, including two underwater suites, an underwater restaurant, one of the world's top 10 largest water parks in the world, top 10 world's largest aquariums, and a vertical drop slide called Leap of Faith where you pass through a tunnel surrounded by sharks on the way down at 60 kilometers per hour. That's one of the world's most luxurious hotels in the world called Burj Al Arab, which is built on an artificial island also. It's the third tallest hotel in the world and the world's only seven-star hotel. It was designed to mimic the cell of a ship. The helipad held a tennis match between Andre Agassi and Roger Federer, 
and in a daring stunt, a Red Bull pilot landed his plane on the helipad. So what you're looking at there are the beach villas of the royal family. And on that private beach you see, the royal family lets their pet tigers and jaguars and a couple other exotic animals roam freely along the water. I just wanted to show you guys proof of how people just leave their belongings around. Um, we did it. It is such a cool feeling, um, just being able to leave your your bags and your purses and things like that just as you go out in the water and just leave them out knowing that they're gonna be completely safe. Um, I can't say that I've ever really felt like that in any other city um, and it feels really cool. Okay, so it's day two and we're swapping skyscrapers for sand dunes and malls for camels. Today I'm embarking on a Quizza Central Dubai experience, a desert safari. No visit to Dubai is complete without venturing into this majestic desert. I booked this tour on Vitor and I'm so happy that I did. Here in the desert, the adventure scales up a notch. We're talking about dune bashing and 4x4 vehicles, sliding down dunes, sandboarding, and of course the ever popular camel ride. As the evening approaches, I head to a traditional Bedouin-style camp for a taste of local culture. Here we have a delicious barbecue dinner under the stars before being enchanted by a mesmerizing tenora and belly dance performance while smoking traditional hookah. This was the highlight of the trip and something you have to do when you're in Dubai. As I reach the end of my journey here in the City of Wonders, I can't help but marvel at the incredible adventure that Dubai has offered over the past 48 hours. Dubai is a city full of world record breakers, the tallest and biggest everything. 48 hours might not seem enough, but as we've seen, every moment here is a unique adventure. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey, and see you in Nepal.